uh, Olinka, the co-founder and myself, were together for four or five years and we decided to break up. There was one thing that was kind of a reminder of our relationship, just the mentioning of, of like who's going to take the bunny, it felt really hard. We thought, wouldn't it be great if there was a place where you could just store it and it just stays there and it's safe, you know it's safe, but it's just not there to remind you every day. To put it simply, Museum of Broken Relationship is a collection of items and stories that were donated by people after their relationships fell apart. I would like to donate the target that my ex shot with an AK-47 when we were together at the shooting range in LA. What else do you do when you come from Denmark to LA? You know, you go to the shooting range. We get objects from all over the world. You know, we open packages and like what's inside. And oftentimes uh, you really get surprised. In a Zagreb hospital, I met a beautiful, young and ambitious social worker from the Ministry of Defense. Love was born when she helped me get certain materials, which as a war invalid, I needed for my below knee prosthesis. The prosthesis endured longer than our love. It was made of sturdier material. The reason why we did this, because uh, when we had, when we experienced the problem of what to do with this something, we were sure it already exists and we went to Google it to find the place. We just found the advice to how to destroy it. <laughs> and there are really some that, that are so striking. I mean, uh, Parachute from Finland, it's pretty, pretty powerful one. I met him on my first parachute jump. I was really scared, but this handsome man who was my tandem jumping instructor saved me. We loved to play in the sky and we loved each other. Then he died in a parachute accident. That's always the thing with the crowdsourced things. You have no idea what you're gonna get. When I moved out across the country, I took the toaster. That will show you. How are you going to toast anything now? Love and breakup, it's such an important part of our lives, but you don't know anything about it. You're just left on your own to experience it. And if you have great parents or great friends, they will help you out, if not, nothing. It's really like uh, that famous sentence that everybody's happy in their same way and unhappy in their special way. A mobile phone from Zagreb, Croatia. It was 300 days too long. He gave me his mobile phone so I couldn't call him anymore. It's a permanent museum. Uh, one of the most visited in Croatia, which is for me still funny. Now we're, we're friends and business partners. You, you just change the relationship from uh, one to another and it can be done. I mean, we're proof that it can be done. We still travel a lot with uh, visiting exhibitions all over the world. And it's, it's really great when you see how well people respond. I mean, that's why we do it, really.